Okay, now that we know uh, sort of the different situations that can take place at sale um, and how they relate to, you know, uh, the asset losing money or depreciating over time. So now, how exactly do assets depreciate over time? There are two commonly used methods for depreciation of different assets. Um, case one is the so-called straight line depreciation. Case two is the so-called depreciation under MAKERS, which stands for Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System. The straight line depreciation, case number one, is not as common as case two. And you know, every asset follows either the straight line or the maker's depreciation. So that information is always what you would call given. Uh, what depreciates according to the straight line depreciation? Um, buildings um, and intangible properties, such as patents, software. Everything else, like equipment, vehicles, they follow the makers. Now let's see how the two compare. Let's start with the straight line depreciation. To find the annual depreciation, you need to evenly uh, distribute the cost of your asset over the asset's useful life or economic life. So let's say uh, the useful life of some piece of equipment is 10 years, and that is given to you. Then you take the price that you will be paying and divide it by 10. So this gives you one tenth of the purchase price in annual depreciation. So this is how much value is lost every year. Same amount every year. And this is actually the key. The depreciation is the same every year. Um, so if you imagine, you know, start, uh, having the purchase price is your original book value, then you can imagine going like downstairs, you know, with uh, steps having the same height, right? So each step you take is the same uh, depreciation amount, same value lost um, every year. If you are then interested in calculating how much value has been lost over um, a specific number of years, then we take that number of years and multiply by the annual depreciation. So for example, after five years, we have five multiplied by the annual depreciation amount. That's the accumulated depreciation. Then after any number of years, we can calculate how much value remains or the remaining book value. For that, we take the original book value, which is the purchase price, and we subtract um, all the accumulated depreciation until then. So if the economic life is 10 years, then after, uh, let's say, three years, there's seven years worth of um, um, you know, value remaining. Let's look at the following example. A company is buying a new piece of equipment for $12,000. Its economic life is three years. It will depreciate at the same rate each year. The company is planning to sell it in two years for $3,000. TC, which stands for Corporate Income Tax Rate, equals 34%. What will be the after-tax salvage value? Okay, uh, we can build a table that shows for each year, including the very beginning, year zero, what the annual depreciation will be, the accumulated depreciation as of end of that year, and the remaining book value as of end of that year. So right away, um, the remaining book value is $12,000, which is the purchase price. Over the first year, we lose one-third of the asset's value. We know that it's one-third because the economic life is three years. So one-third of the original uh, book value is one-third of $12,000, which gives $4,000. 
and four thousand dollars is also the annual depreciation in years two and three right so for the entire life of this equipment for the entire three-year economic life the depreciation per year will be the same dollar amount four thousand uh, dollars for each year we can also calculate the accumulated depreciation after the first year we have lost four thousand dollars in value after the second year we have lost two years worth of depreciation so two multiplied by four thousand dollars gives eight thousand dollars and after three years uh, all value is lost so three multiplied by four thousand dollars per year gives twelve thousand dollars which is how it should be right because the equipment has a three-year economic life after the third year the accumulated depreciation should be exactly equal to the uh, initial book value another thing you can say is that after the end of the economic life of your equipment the remaining book value should equal zero so what's the remaining book value after the first year we lost four thousand dollars in depreciation so the remaining book value is twelve thousand initially minus four thousand during the first year equals eight thousand dollars what is the remaining book value after two years well we started with twelve thousand in year zero and we lost a total of eight thousand dollars in depreciation over two years so we have only four thousand dollars of value remaining and the remaining book value after three years is the initial book value twelve thousand dollars minus accumulated depreciation over three years which is also twelve thousand dollars and this is how we get zero um, so we start with twelve thousand then the value drops to eight thousand then it drops to four thousand and then to zero dollars right and uh, if you connect these sort of imaginary uh, points uh, that kind of indicate the loss in value every year they would be connected with a straight line this is by the way where the name straight line depreciation comes from okay and now let's go back to our question what will be the after tax salvage value so what information do we need so what information do you need uh, to answer this question you um, only need to look at the selling price which is three thousand dollars and you need to compare it against the remaining book value which is four thousand dollars right at the end of the second year so end of year two is the only year that we should um, now focus on because we are selling the asset for less than what it's worth we are kind of selling it at a loss and uh, we had an explanation of one of the earlier slides um, which explain how this corresponds to the case that we call tax savings so how much tax in taxes are we going to get back from the IRS we're going to get back the difference between uh, 4,000 and 3,000 multiplied by the 34 percent tax rate which was given the tax savings is equal to 340 dollars and we're going to add it to the $3,000 selling price to correctly calculate the so-called after-tax salvage value that we get to keep. Mm -hmm. So the after-tax salvage value equals $3,000, the selling price, plus the tax savings, $340, which gives us $3,340.